Hello everyone, this is Anton and today I want to get into a question that was left in the comments about the third-party plugin advanced tables for the for Obsidian. Now this particular plugin is used to create tables and make tables in Obsidian extremely easy to, to use. Now the question was can it do calculations or formulas? And the easy answer to that is yes, but I wanted to get in to show an example of how you get started with it. So before I start the video, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it and it helps get the videos out to, to other individuals just like yourself that's looking for this type of content. Now let's go ahead and get started with showing how you get started with calculations in the advanced tables third party plugin. I'm going to assume that you already have the plugin installed. If not, go back and check out the video that I showed on how to install this video and how to use it. Um, I did not get into calculations in that video, so I'm going to stick to just um, focusing on how to do calculations in this video. So first we're gonna need an actual file. So we'll go ahead and create a new file and we're gonna to have to create a table. To create a table is very easy. We just go ahead with the pipe sign. We can go next. We can uh, do the same thing again. And then we can give this some headings. So we'll give it things and we'll see count and let's go ahead and create a couple more rows. And I have short keys to do this. So you can go to that other video to see how you can do that. But if you go into the, to the um, settings and into hotkeys, you can enable shortcuts on keyboard shortcuts to create your rows and columns a lot easier. So let's go ahead and say we, for things, we're just going to do numbers here. One, two, three. And for the last row, we want this to be the calculation row. So this will be our total. And in the count, we'll just go ahead and mimic the one, two, and three. That's under things. And what we want to do, let me reformat this table so it looks pretty. And what we want to do here now is add in the formula for the table. Now, the formulas are, are the format that you use here is the HTML comment format. So we'll go ahead and start that off. And you put a space after the dashes of the opening of the comment format here. And then we type TBL FM table format and then colon, and we put another space. Now, the, after this, it starts the, the destination and the source. So basically, where the formula is going to live, which is gonna be the last, the last row, second column, is where we're gonna put it. And then we will put what that formula is gonna be in that particular destination. So let's go ahead and put the destination, which is we're going to use this particular uh, format here that indicates the last row. And then we're going to do dollar sign two, which will indicate the column. So last row with this formatting here, and then we're going to put the column. So once we have the destination, we're going to do equal. And what we want to do is sum up those numbers. So we'll go sum and then the brackets and that and in here is where we're going to put our our actual formula now there's a little notation here where if we put the at symbol and i capital i that indicates the the actual line separate the the row uh first row underneath the separation of the heading and then what we want to do is do a range here using the uh, two periods here. And we want from this particular top row all the way down to the row above 
the total row. So the first row before the total row is what we want um, that range to be. So we're going to put at negative one here. So this should be somewhat common if you've done formulas before. And the formatting is pretty easy once you actually get used to it. So we'll go ahead and close this off. We'll do double uh, dashes and then the greater than sign to close off that comment formatting for the formula. And the next thing we need to do is really just click into the table. We can use the, the uh, hotkey shift command and D to bring up this toolbar. And then what we want to do is enable this evaluate formula. We click that and we can see here that it adds up the numbers um, following the formula that we put in here. So this is a good starting point right now, uh, but you can do more. So let's go ahead and show, do you want to make maybe a range on the actual columns? So we'll, we'll put a couple more columns in here just to show rain, um, doing a range in our formula. And we'll do C3, maybe we'll do 12, 34, 56, 26, one, one, and maybe 65 there. Now we can keep this particular format here but we're going to extend it because what we want here is this formula to begin at this, this destination here. But we want to set a range and we do that by again putting in these two dots. We'll go ahead and start it off similar to the first range that we have in there or this first location. But in this one here we're going to do dollar sign and then we're going to put that greater than symbol which means the last row in this particular, or the last column in this particular row. So once we have this in there, all we have to do is reevaluate the formula again. And you're gonna to have to do this every time you, you make a change to your table. So if you change the quantities or the numbers or even the formula itself, if you want it to apply, you have to reevaluate the formula and we can easily do that with a hotkey so I set up a hotkey here and when I hit the hotkey you can see that it updates the the other columns in this particular row and sums up the the numbers so this is pretty easy um, a quick example kind of to get you started with calculations and formulas in this by using this advanced table third-party plugin if we go into the properties here or settings into third party plugins, we scroll down to this advanced tables, go ahead and click on that. And what we want to do to get more information here is spreadsheet formulas. You can click on this here and let me switch my window and it will open up to this page here. And when you get to this page, what you can do is if you want to get the formula syntax, then all you have to do is click on this link for this particular documentation. And it'll go ahead and bring you to this documentation. It'll give you all the information about how you can do formulas, how the, the what the different formatting is, what you can use to indicate uh, first row, first column, last row, last column, etc. Shows you how to do ranges. You can come in here and get more information on the functions. It's really informative. So make sure you come to this particular documentation about the plugin and the formulas and to be specific to learn more about what you can do with the formulas in this advanced tables plugin. So I hope that that was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Anton and until the next time, have a nice day.